Hello, everybody. This is Yannick Chauvin, and welcome to part one of the portrait makeover uh, tutorial series. And the f in this part, we're going to be looking at whitening teeth and eyes. Now, there are many ways in Photoshop to do this, but we're going to be looking at two ways of doing this. Now, here's a lovely picture of uh, Audrey and Chamel. They're both professional dancers from Les Ballets Jazz de Montréal. Um, they were courteous enough to come and shoot for me for some stock photography and did an awesome job, so thank you guys. And uh, let's get right into it. Oh, by the way, if uh, you have other ways of doing this type of uh, technique, please feel free to post them in the comments section of the blog so that other people can uh, share in your wisdom. All right, thank you. Now, the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our layer. Uh, well, the way I do it is by just clicking on the layer and select Duplicate Layer, and then click OK. And we can work from that. That way, we won't work on our original image. Next thing we want to do is zoom in on the parts that need to be whiten whitened. And we're going to start with Chamel's teeth here. Boom, there we go. Nice and, uh, nice and good uh, zoom on this. Now, what you can do, uh, you can do it in two ways. You can do the lazy way, which I sometimes do, but most of the time I do it the other way. But I'll show you the lazy way first. Now, the first way to whiten teeth and eyes is by using the dodge tool, which you'll find here by selecting that. Now, we want to make sure we have a nice sized brush, and we don't want the edge of the brush to be too hard or too soft. So I usually put it around. 50%, um, as you can see, is at 51 here. The next thing we want to make sure is that the exposure level is at around 15 to maybe between 10 and 20%. So I, I select 15. I'd rather go over the teeth and eyes more often with the tool than over whitening right away. I have more control this way. So let's do it the lazy way. Just going over the teeth, trying to avoid the gums and the lips as much as possible. And one pass looks good. If I do a second pass, will it be too much? Well, maybe not. That's not bad. That's not bad. So it's not super precise, but it does the job. If, you'll, if you, we back up by double-clicking on the hand tool to get the general view of the picture, we, we get a nice view. We can look at the before and after, and it's looking good. Now, zooming back, what we should do if we're uh, more meticulous, is to select our teeth with the selection tool and then doing the dodge. So we can do that by clicking either the polygonal tool uh, or the lasso tool. Now, if you have a Wacom tablet, probably the lasso tool will, will work well. Uh, and if not, uh, like me, if you're using a mouse, um, you use the polygonal tool, and always use a feather of one pixel so that the edge isn't too hard. And then go ahead and select your teeth. Now, um, I'll be doing a transition here, and I, I won't be doing a perfect job, but uh, to save some time, uh, you'll see the magic of video editing, and uh, by the time uh, we're here, it'll be done. And I'm about finished right here. And that didn't take long with the magic of editing. Now, once you have your selection done uh, as precisely as possible, you can just go into your dodge tool. And then without even worrying about overflowing uh, outside on the gums and lips, you just do, do your magic. And there you go. Uh, and you can just control D for deselect, and you can see what you've done. You can zoom back out again by double-clicking on the hand before and after and going, yeah, I like that. Now, let's zoom back in. I'll make sure that my selection is done. And I'll show you the second way of doing this lovely technique. Now, instead of using the Dodge tool, we'll be using the Curves Adjustment uh, tool. By going into Image Adjustments, and you can select curves, or do Control m on the PC or Command-M on the Mac. Now what you want to do is bring your curves up 
Remember, not too much. You don't want to overdo it when you're whitening teeth and eyes because it'll look unnatural. And you don't want to have that alien um, fluorescent white teeth and eyes going there. I, I've seen so many shots that have been retouched that way, and it just looks so unnatural. So be very, very gentle with your adjustments when you're doing that. You want to make sure that it looks normal. All right? And once you have something good, you can click on the preview to see before and after, and you say, yeah, I like it. Good. Now, one other thing that you might find, if you have pictures of people uh, with uh, more yellow in their teeth, either smokers or big coffee drinkers or, or Coke drinkers, they might have a tendency of having more of a yellowish tint to their teeth. And you want to remove that. And the way you can do that is by going to Image Adjustments and Hue Saturation, or Control U or Command U on the Mac. And you just want to bring the saturation down to between 30 and 50 percent, sometimes even a bit more on other people. But in this case here, Chamel has pretty nice teeth to start off with. So 40 percent, we look at before and after. And we click OK. And there we go. Control D to deselect, or Command D on a Mac. Zoom out. And there we go. Before and after. Looking good. And that's how we do the teeth. Now, of course, doing the eyes is the same thing, except it's a different selection. But I, I want to do at least one eye so you guys can see what it's all about. Again, I'm going to, you can do it the lazy way again, but it, for the eyes, it's, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit more difficult. Um, but I have done it before the lazy way. Uh, you might want to start with a smaller brush and then paint in and try not to overspill on the dark part of the eye. And again, you don't want to overdo it when you're doing eyes. All right, you can see before and after, and that's looking good. Now again, what I suggest that you do is use your selection tool and going in and selecting your eye. I'm going to do this pretty quickly now. But again, try to be as precise as possible. Don't rush. You don't want to have to redo it. Remember to keep a one feather pixel. And then again, just using your dodge tool, you can go with a bigger brush now. And then just go in. And there you go. Now, again, you can use the Curves Adjustment Layer for that. Let's see how that would look with the Curves Adjustment Layer. Adjust it, like so. And again, if you want to get rid of some redness in the eye, you can go to the Hue Saturation and desaturate the eye a little bit before and after. Okay. Control D to deselect, double click on it, and you can see the difference here. If we look at before and after, we've only done one eye, but you can see that it still looks natural, but uh, it just gives it a bit of a, a really, really nice pop. I hope you enjoyed part one of this uh, portrait makeover. Stay tuned for part two. We'll be looking at uh, removing uh, blemishes and wrinkles. All right, take care, and until next time, bye-bye.